Hi guys, um, this is Imranio and uh, now I'm going to do a brief run through of the Samsung JS9000 uh, Smart TV. This TV is, uh, is classified as SUHD, so basically it uses nano crystal display and um, one of the main highlights is actually it uses a new Tizen OS so I hope this video will give you an idea of how Tizen OS is in terms of the user interface and uh, and you get the idea of how fast uh, it runs when, on this octa-core processor let me switch it on okay there you go so uh, this is the main screen and uh, it turns on to HDMI 4 so uh, okay so in, in the background you can see my AC Ryan uh, media player this is not part of Tizen obviously uh, let me uh, let me press the pointer button on the remote so as you can see on the top when you click uh, when you tap on it you will see menu on the bottom will be smart hub and on the left will be the speaker which you can you know you can increase control here or you have a dedicated volume button on the remote as well for convenience okay so uh, let me go to the source so if I press the source button and you'll see all the sources lined up neatly right so the active ones will be on top uh, I mean in the front so you can see TV I don't have a signal right now so there's nothing in there and HDMI 4 is what my player is connected to and you have screen mirroring and this is my USB uh, USB hard disk which is connected through USB and uh, and then this is uh, this is a PC in the network so it's not mine it's someone else's uh, well there's nothing shared to it and so on as you can see the HDMI 1, 2, 3 and we have the AV and components as well alright let me uh, let me go to the menu the main menu so as I press on the menu button okay, let me go back for now okay so as I press on the menu button uh, you'll see a uh, number palette here so basically this resembles uh, all the numbers on the remote control the remote control does not have any uh, numbers so you can access them uh, most likely you won't need to access them because uh, it, it's, it's very easy to use and you don't really need to key in numbers most of the time on the top you have the main menu you have the voice uh, recognition I uh, do not recommend using the voice recognition here it does not work uh, hardly at all it does not work at all and you have the guide which is would be the e-manual and the information of uh, let me see information of the channel okay there's nothing here okay and uh, the channel listing the multi-link so you can uh, split the screen you have the sports mode. Uh, sports mode basically just increases and enhances the sound, increases the contrast, and so on. And yeah, you have the e manual here. Oh, this is different from the guide, I guess. Uh, let me see what the guide has. Okay, this will be the program guide. Alright. Okay, then we have the picture settings, the size, and the picture mode, the speakers, uh, dual audio, and audio device, uh, audio description. Okay. And you have the language, the 3D setting, sleep timer, tools, and of course you have the power button. Just in case you don't want to use the power button on the remote. Okay, so I will go straight to the menu. This is the main stuff uh, right in front. Okay, as you can see, everything loads up pretty fast. So for the picture, uh, you have the standard settings, the picture mode, the tint. You have the open multi-link screen. Let me tap on this. Right, so it tells you, you know, you you, you can run the Tizen OS uh, in one side, and you can have the input on the other side. You can't have both running Tizen OS, like let's say apps, uh, one side apps, and one side the web browser. You know that sh that will not work. So only one should work under the Tizen OS. So that could include the web browser, and the other side will be the input. So let me just exit this. I don't need it right now. Let me just exit. Exit yes. All right. Okay on this. All right. 
so let me continue on the menu you have the picture options here which will give you more detailed settings like the color tone digital clean view noise filters uh, motion plus smart LED cinema black I really like this function so it dims the top and bottom of the screen only when you're viewing anamorphic content okay uh, back let me see what else we got okay that's about it so for under sound it's pretty much standard um, usually you buy an LCD TV uh, I don't really care about the sound uh, but uh, the sound on here is very decent I would say but uh, I would recommend you getting a sound bar or an amplifier you know to, to match the display you have the speaker settings here okay sound effects we have the uh, visual surround the, the dialogue clarity balance equalizer and so on let me see speaker setting what do they have here Okay, so you can basically add uh, audio devices in here. You can even add a Bluetooth headphones here. Somehow it's not very well marketed. I just have to go through here and stumble upon the Bluetooth device. And yeah, I mean, it supports Bluetooth as well. It works pretty flawlessly. Uh, additional settings. So you have the HDMI output you know, and how it's being connected to the other devices. You have the audio delay as well. Okay, all the delay is pretty nifty, I would say. Sound customizer, I did not go into the details, so I'm not gonna go there. And yeah, the reset settings. And we have the broadcasting, this one, uh, okay, nothing much here. You can do your channel tuning and so on. Network is for your Wi Fi or a wired setup, you can do it here. You can configure your IP address and so on. Smart Hub, I'm talking to you about the Samsung account in here. You don't need to have a Samsung account to actually enjoy the TV. You can just download the apps without having a Samsung account. And you have the system here, pretty uh, pretty standard, and the support. For the email comes in here as well. Okay, so let me get out of uh, the menu. Let me see what else we got here. Okay, uh, let me show you the email. The email is pretty interesting. Uh, well, uh, my last TV was like four to five years old, so they didn't have this kind of stuff. I found it's pretty cool. You can either download a PDF from the net, or you can just, you know, browse through, you know, have a search or something. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, but uh, okay, yeah, let me show you how the keyboard looks like. Okay, well, uh, the keyboard is uh, very decent, I would say, if you want to use a pointer. I'll still recommend. Um, an actual USB keyboard to speed things up. Okay, so these are all the uh, manual portions. Let me go in. And let me just roughly show you how how this is. Maybe not very important. I mean, manual it's something like you know you just learn it once and that's it. Uh, but I think it serves as a good reference, knowing that you know this TV has a lot of uh, functions. Okay, so let me get out of here. Could be email, yes. Okay, I'll go to, I'll show you the Smart Hub. So there is a Smart Hub button. Okay, I can't really show you here on the, on the remote. It's not much of light here. Okay. Anyway, the Smart Hub button, it's an instant access to this row. Okay, though, so this row will show you all the recently accessed apps here. Okay, and or you can click on the featured list. The featured list will actually allow you to get into apps and some new apps. Well, this is not controlled over here. Uh, it's not controlled by you. Whatever is new or something that might interest you, it will just appear here. All right. So uh, let me go back to recents, and um, I will show you. But let me see. I will show you how the apps list look like. I call it the app store or whatever. So everything loads pretty fast, I would say experience is quite flawless okay there you go so as you can see my apps here first page so these are all my apps some are already pre-installed actually a lot of them are pre-installed the only stuff that I, I you know install is just maybe a handful of them one two three four maybe five six six I guess the rest have been pre-installed uh, you can choose to uninstall them Go to what's new will tell you what is uh, what's new. Everything is very vibrant, very smooth. It goes to most most popular. 
the video I guess video will be one of the more popular choices among users I mean we have the let me see Korean variety shows here okay YouTube is one of my favorite um, TV rain I don't know what that is we have some financial times here BBC news okay they have daily motion as well they have Vimeo okay so let me go to games okay I don't really play games here because uh, these are really simple basic games so quite a handful of it. I'm not gonna go into details. And go to sports. Okay, not a sports person here either, but yeah, this is it. Lifestyle. Okay. Lifestyle. I mean we have the Facebook here. I used it for like for like maybe like uh, two minutes I, I suppose I didn't really like it it's not comfortable as all I, I, I rather just take my smartphone out and then start viewing you know, Facebook and Twitter Twitter I didn't try this I didn't try Skype either I you, you can actually attach uh, a camera so to make your Skype experience uh, complete alright well, there's a lot of stuff here I'm not gonna go through all of them okay, and the information will be more the news alright Okay, not much here. Okay, education. It's more for like kids education, I would say, not just education. Okay, what else? And they have kids section as well. Okay. All right, nothing much here, I suppose. Okay. Um. So let me see. Done with apps. Uh, let me show you a couple of apps. Uh, okay, with Smart Hub. Start with YouTube. Actually, YouTube looks pretty much the same, but as you can see how fast it loaded. Uh, I think it's, I think the speed is pretty good, and uh, YouTube is very usable. I mean, you have all these uh, sections here, up, down, left, right. And somehow, when you move the pointer towards the edge, you know, it doesn't scroll. I guess it's for better control. So you just need to tap on this. All right. So Android Authority. Let me tap on this, for example. Let me show you how it, how it works. Okay, well they have ads as as usual. Okay, let me skip it. There you go. The image is uh, pretty amazing. And this is running on Wi-Fi, by the way. Uh, Two point four gigahertz bandwidth. Even 1080 videos, I think it looks fantastic. And you can always browse. Pretty standard, I would say. Okay. Back. All right. Well, yeah. Well, this is it. The YouTube app. I checked out web OS as well and uh, some other OS from Panasonic televisions so the YouTube app actually looks the same yeah but I would say that the speed the experience will be will differ a little bit I would say I kind of like what's what, what I see here okay um, let me see you can see fam daily motion you got a Bollywood movie I kind of like this quite a number of free movies but anyway Bollywood movies are generally free even on YouTube so not a big deal here but it's very well displayed I would say there you go well, the apps are very well polished I would say well, I'm not gonna get into details here there's a lot of things here so you can just you know tap on you know there's a number of free movies quite a lot of free movies here actually but uh, these are I would say old movies but they're, they're pretty good ones okay let me just get out of here oh, okay some apps they do not make use of the pointer as you can see I'm not allowed to use the pointer so I have to use the cursor on the remote not a big problem but no it'll be good if you have the cursor support the pointer support okay so uh, this would be smart hub in a nutshell it's actually very simple very easy to use and it's an overlay so uh, let me overlay okay let me go back to my HDMI 4 as you can see this is my background so whatever you're watching it just comes right on top very smooth 
Okay, uh, I will go into one of the apps, it's called My Content. I don't know it's classified as an app or as part of the system. So My Content basically allows you to browse through any connected media. So I have a USB hard disk connected. So as you can see, these are all the folders. So let me get in 3D movie. I will tell you that, uh, frankly speaking, I, I do not I do not like this at all. I still prefer my AC Ryan anytime. One main reason, I'll show you why. Okay, 3D movie. Let me get in 3D movie. Big Hero 6. Okay, let me play this. Okay, so you have to turn on the 3D and then they will actually put these two images together to try the 3D image. Well, this video actually works, alright? Not a problem at all. But somehow, just not used to the controls. But that's not the worst part. I think the worst part is some of the videos do not play at all. This one is okay, frankly. Yeah, this is fine. I'll show you some videos do not work at all. Okay, let me go to the 4K videos. The browsing through the folders, it's it's very simple, very neat, you know, but if you have a lot of folders, you know, it can get complicated. Let me go to 4K video. I downloaded this uh, video of, uh, let me see. Oh, it's not here. Linkin Park, yeah. I think it's a Samsung uh, demo video. So as you can see, it comes with four different videos. So let me let me click on this one. Three videos, I think. Yeah. Very sharp 4K video. It works very smooth. Okay, but for some reason, this particular one does not work at all. The first video doesn't work. There you go. Okay, it will never work. I don't know why. Maybe you know. Maybe there's some limitation, there's some error in the in the file. But I do not think that the error is in the file because I can actually play the video on my PC. And this is not just the only video. Uh, let me go to MKVs. Okay, I had this Hobbit, uh, Desolation of Smog Extended Edition. This is I think it's about 14 gigs. And uh, I downloaded this so that I could test it out how it works, but seriously, it doesn't work at all. My AC Ryan plays it perfectly. I mean, this is a 1080p video. My AC Ryan plays perfectly, but not this guy. So seriously, mm -mm, I don't like this player at all. Uh, let me go to Avengers. Avengers, on the other hand, it plays. So I didn't really go into detail why it plays and why it not. Maybe it's some bitrate limitation. Uh, some Kodak limitation, I don't know. So as you can see, the subtitles come out really nice and cool. I mean, they're, they're perfectly sized and placed in a perfect location. Fonts are really clean. And this is the SRT. Oh yeah, I should prefer this than the second. Age of Ultron, but okay. All right, so uh, this would be it. Okay, let me go to Avatar. Avatar works as well. Okay, Avatar, it's about nine gigs. It works, but the Hobbit movie, it didn't work. As you can see, the smart heart pops right up. And let me quickly show you. Uh, Okay, no. I wanted to show you the, uh, the multi-window thingy. Where is it? Multi-link? Multi-link multi uh, multi takes time. There you go. This is your multi-link. So... On my right, I have the Tizen interface, and now I'm actually playing from my USB. Okay, and on my left, I have my AC Ryan, which I can choose to play another movie. 
Alright, so well, in a nutshell, this is what your multi-link is. Okay, let me exit from this. Well, I guess uh, there's nothing much else to show you. In a nutshell, this is Tizen OS. And um, my brief conclusion is, I think this OS for television, I think it's amazing. And um, the speed plays a huge part. I mean, I have tested web OS and some other OS, and it doesn't run that smooth. I mean, it takes a while for all the UI to pop up. And uh, as far as uh, uh, the apps are concerned, I I do not really run a lot of apps uh, except for a few, as you have seen, like YouTube, Bollywood HD, and whatnot. So I'm not too concerned about whether there are enough apps in the Tizen store. Um, but uh, I would say that as far as the TV UI is concerned, I think it's fantastic. Uh, the remote is uh, remote is awesome as well. It's very easy to use. Uh, like I said, let me stress again, the speed is good. Okay, but the, I would not recommend using it as as a player. Okay, go and get another media player. You can just use the smart functions just to run your YouTube, for example, and you know maybe do some split screen, uh, maybe web browsing and stuff like that. But still, um, I'm not too sure if Smart TV is the way to go. Uh, I mean, it's okay to be a little smart, you know, have a nice UI, very quick, uh, quick, nice UI, ability to switch sources fast enough. All that is good, but um, the concept of apps and all that, yeah, I'm still not a big fan of. But except for YouTube, I think that is useful. Other than that, um, I think I'd rather uh, get a dedicated media player for all the smart functions. But anyway, the Tizen OS, this is it. And this is the Samsung JS9000 55 inch. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, press the like button if you like it. Uh, thank you very much.